Ashley Rodriguez is many things. She began her career at the prestigious Spargo restaurant in Beverly Hills as a dessert chef, before moving back to Seattle to raise a family and start her own business as a food photographer and writer. Through weekly recipe posts on my blog, Not Without Salt, I hone my skills and my passion for food photography. So when DP Review asked me if I wanted to join them to test a new camera, I said yes, immediately. It's sort of the name of the game these days to just have lots of different things going, and I love that. But yes, it does make for a very, very busy life, especially when I have three children who have different activities and interests and um, trying to kind of manage it all. Today, we're joining Ashley on assignment, cooking and shooting alongside renowned pie chef Kate McDermott. But first, we wanted to learn more about how Ashley approaches food photography. I shoot food how I want to eat the food. You know, there's a few bites missing, the fork is at a way that you can just sort of imagine yourself sitting down at the table. Ashley's usual camera is a DSLR, but for this shoot we've loaned her a Canon EOS M5, Canon's flagship mirrorless interchangeable lens camera. In return, she's promised us some cake. So I'm doing a flourless chocolate cake, and then I'm going to top it off with a Swiss meringue that I season with peppermint extract and then torch it so we get these like deep caramelized flavors and this really nice, rich chocolate cake. The M5 features a 24 megapixel APS-C format sensor, dual pixel autofocus system, and HD video. Although it's much smaller than most DSLRs, the M5 operates in a very similar way, and it's fully compatible with Canon's EF lenses using an adapter. The key to great food photography is simplicity, especially where lighting is concerned and simple neutral backgrounds like this pale white marble make the rich dark chocolate cake really pop. To add a little contrast, the golden fork matches the deep brown of the toasted peppermint meringue. With the cake finished, we headed off to meet Kate McDermott, self-described pie chiatrist. Kate lives on the Olympic Peninsula, just a couple of hours drive away from Seattle. But why drive when you can fly? There's not much room in the passenger seat of a Cessna Skyhawk, but with a wide-angle lens on the M5, there was just enough space to shoot some video footage of the trip. The EOS M5 can capture HD video at up to 60p, with touch focus and movie servo AF. For me, it's pretty hard to top the experience of flying over the Pacific Northwest in a small plane. But I think Ashley was more excited about going to see Kate. Kate McDermott is the high master. She just gets so much joy from getting her hands dirty with flour and butter and teaching people how to bake pies and feeding people pies. She's just a, a joy to be around. So we're gonna pick our pie. We're gonna make one of Kate's specialties, an apple, pear, and quince pie with an all butter crust. How am I looking? I think you look great and oh, I think you. this looks good too. When I cook and shoot at the same time, it's a completely different approach. I come from a restaurant background and speed was everything there. I love what food photography has taught me to slow down and really enjoy the process. Cut it down the center like this. Save your cores for your chickens. Oh, I love that. Yeah. The EOS M5 can create time-lapse movies in camera. We set the camera to record one frame every two seconds. With so much fruit to chop, we sped it up, both in camera and with Kate's vintage Vegematic. Great pictures can be had at every stage of the pie making process. I really like the delicate colors and textures of the dough. You know what's making me really happy right now? All the streaks of like gold butter right there. Ugh. Mm. Mm. I love it. Egg whitewash makes it very sparkly and pretty. Uh -huh. You can use a full egg wash. Ah, this reminds me of my days as a wine waiter. Minus this. <laughs> with the pie in the oven, Kate and I decided to let Barney play with some leftover dough while I took pictures. All right. You're gonna put your filling in. Okay. Look at that, just like you promised. For Kate, Pie making isn't just about taste. She can tell when the pie is ready just from how it sounds. This is the best sound in the world. 
Like food photography, portraiture is often best when it's not too complicated. Natural light from one of the windows in Kate's kitchen provided all the illumination Ashley needed for this simple portrait. Sometimes, though, natural light isn't enough, and that's where flashes come in. For these shots, we use two Canon speed lights with the ST-E3RT wireless transmitter. At medium power output, they help provide an attractive fill light, which doesn't overpower the natural light from the evening sun. I used to do all of my editing on a computer, but these days I'm using a phone more and more for quick edits and posting pictures to social media. Crispy and crap. Oh my goodness, and it's just Flaky, shattering. Yeah. Oh, I think we did real well. Mm, so good. Composition and color theory and all of that always came very natural to me. It's the technicality of the photography that was a little bit tricky for me. So I would pick it up and then get easily overwhelmed by figuring out the aperture and the ISO and all that kind of stuff. I want it to be easy to just sort of quickly pack up and not be too obvious if I'm out at a restaurant and want to take a quick food photo. Ability to do macro, intuitive, all of that. It looks like a perfect color. Okay. What do you think? You're the I expert. Think, well, it's your pie. I made a pie with help from Kate. With butter-filled bellies and full SD cards, we loaded up our gear in Barney's homemade pie and headed back to the plane for our quick journey home. The sun was just setting as we flew out of Kate's hometown. I'll never forget the view as we descended on the lit up Seattle skyline. For DP Review, this has been Ashley Rodriguez and Barney Britton. Thank you for watching. Bon appetit.